Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ravi Shea. I'm 18 years old, and I'm a Christian contemporary singer-songwriter from Southern Illinois. I first started into music whenever I was 12. My parents got me guitar lessons, and after that, it just basically escalated from there. I began writing songs and making music videos, getting interviewed on the radio, and it's just been a crazy ride, and I'm really excited to be where I am today. Whenever I first started writing music, I was trying to figure out where I fit in in the music industry. So I started writing pop music because I had a lot of role models that were personal to me that I really looked up to and I wanted to be like them and I found myself trying to be like these other people whenever I should have focused on being myself and I felt really restricted in the pop industry like I was not able to speak about my religion and about my morals and it's just, that's just a huge part of my life and I was becoming someone I didn't want to be so I decided to switch to Christian contemporary music because I was able to spread the word of God and take control of my life and be the man that God wanted me to be. You know, whenever you hear your music on the radio for the first time, it's the most rewarding thing because all that work it took to create the music, to write the music, to produce the music, it was just an amazing feeling to know that all that paid off and now everyone's hearing the song that you created. Your originality and all of that effort that you put into it was actually put forth to everyone. And it's, it's just an amazing feeling. There's nothing better. And the fact that now I'm using that to worship God and to help people with their lives and lead them towards a better future with the Lord on their side, there's nothing more rewarding than that. The first Christian song that I ever wrote was Stop the Running, and I wrote it with my grandpa before he died of ALS. It was a really hard time for me and my family because he was basically the glue that held us all together. Um, I mean, I've never really gone through something as hard as that. I miss him a whole lot, but I know that he's always looking down in the sky and smiling on us, and that's nice. It's definitely good to have that morale to keep you going. But the best of the song is basically about different situations with people running from God. And in the end, I felt like I was running from God because I was writing pop music and being selfish with the music that I was writing. And in reality, I should have been giving the glory to God the whole time. In life, everybody's got a purpose. And I feel like with mine, it's to basically reach out to the younger age because I've gone through the same situations that they have in this time in this generation. And I feel like with any other artist, like they're just in different situations and scenarios. But for me, I'm reaching out to them because I know that music nowadays, everybody likes that big drop and everybody likes that really intense vibe for each song. And I was like, you know what, why not use a mainstream sound for Christian contemporary music. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to reshape Christian contemporary music with a whole new sound to reach out to the younger generation. A live situation is probably the best part in the whole entire music industry because you're sitting there and you know all those fans they're screaming your name and they're and they're all amped to see this show and once you deliver that to them and they're just amazed by it it's 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 so rewarding. And the fact that now I'm mixing that energy and that sense of just emotion in the room and mixing the fact that I'm glorifying God, it's a feeling that I couldn't even explain with words. It's amazing. So I got this new song out called Take That Devil and it's amazing because of the fact that it was my transition between pop and Christian contemporary music. And you know, pop was great, there was nothing wrong with it, but Christian contemporary music is where I felt like I needed to go, and the fact that I was completely using my music now to worship God, I just wanted to say, take that devil. So, I mean, it was just exciting, and I really enjoyed making it. Music affects our lives day to day, and we go through every day and hear it all around us. I mean, it's everywhere. And now that I'm writing this music to portray off an importance in everyone's life which is to get salvation and to get saved and because that's in the end that's all that matters in the Bible it states that we are supposed to lead others to the Lord my one main goal with my music is to inspire others to find the Lord and I hope that my music can do that because if it wasn't I feel like my music would be for vain this Oh
show. 